Welcome to Walai Saturday Night Market here in Chiang Mai. We were actually in Bangkok this morning. Uh -huh. So how did we get here? Should we show the people? Yes. Let's show you how we got here. Today, we are traveling from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. One flat white. One flat white. Thank you. Yeah. But not before we eat breakfast in the amazing Marriott Marquis Hotel. But we have got to leave very, very soon. What time is it? 10 past 9. And what time's our flight? 11 25. Oh my god, we're in a rush. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. Look at that. This one is Nampi Or. We don't have time for this. You definitely have I don't have that. time for this. travel tip before you head to the airport, order your grab in advance. We're waiting 15 minutes for this thing. You know it's that long because she's got time to do her last minute touch-ups. Are you ready to go to Chiang Mai? Bye. Here you go. Babe, it's you in the morning. <laughs> Eleven twenty-five. D yeah. to F. D to F. D to F. Run. Go, 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 go. <laughs> We're in a major rush. What time is it? 10.27. 10.27, the flight is at what time? Gordon at 4.2. 11.25 the flight is at, so we need to get through the domestic departures. <laughs> we do have a good amount of time, to be honest. So actually, you can get to the airport for a domestic flight within about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, and you'll still have time. We just need to go through security. <laughs> Am I a child? Yes. So security is at the gate, so it's not a nightmare getting through security with all the other people on every flight going to everywhere. But look at how early we are. We've not even started boarding, babe. You're not running in You know? <laughs> so you don't have to bother with the whole two hours before. Just come an hour before. It's fine. No, don't. We're here in ample time. This is the uh, setup for someone that just doesn't know when to stop working. I'm in the boarding gate, just doing the... Get me to my destination. Thank you. Chiang Mai, let's go. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. Oh shit, it's still on. Hello. Hi, Sawadee Hello. Sawadee so we have just landed in Chiang Mai and the weather is pretty decent. It's not bad. It has been saying monsoon season. It's gonna rain lots, but it is not. So I'm really excited about this. Now we have also got a private airport transfer by our hotel, the Malady Resort. So I'm really, really excited about this. It's a beautiful looking car that we've got right here. But if you guys haven't already pre-booked a taxi, as soon as you leave the airport right there, you will find lots and lots of taxis that you can get. You can literally hear them saying taxi, taxi. So you can just pick up a cab and head over there. But we're gonna head straight to our hotel now. Thank you. So 15 minutes to the hotel? Yeah, 15 minutes. So Adi Cab. Oh, we've got some snacks. Yeah, that's yes. the Thank offering. you so much. What have we got here? Yeah, what is this? Uh, lots of rice juice. Okay. Well, we've just checked in to the Malady Resort Hotel where we're staying in Chiang Mai and we've been given some delicious looking juices. Cheers. Gosh. <laughs> Very sweet. Mm. 
have just checked in and I can't get over how beautiful this hotel is. Look at that pool right there. It's actually a heated pool in the center. And then you've got this area here, which is wicked. And of course, there's a bar here, which you can order anytime. And our luggage, you don't need to hide. <laughs> Come on. Do you know what? What? That is calling my name. Who's yeah. calling yours? Absolutely. That and the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and the bar. And the bar. And here we go. Wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. This is well cute. Guys, this room is really lovely. We've got a lovely balcony out there. It's very spacious. We've got TV. It's a nice area to do some work. The bed's lovely. Lovely bar. And the balcony, guys. Whoa. With a view. Get this opened up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful view of our pool. Honestly, this is such a nice welcome to the hotel. I'm so excited to be staying here for the next five nights here in Chiang Mai. This is honestly a lovely looking place. The pool looks amazing. The staff are so friendly, so sweet. The fact that there's a gym as well, a restaurant, great looking bar, and it's in really great proximity to everything that you're gonna need in Chiang Mai. I'm so looking forward to this stay. Look at how quick it dries. That's how hot it is here. Okay. Unbelievably <laughs> hot. So I'm feeling like today we are gonna have a pretty chill one because we have got really lucky with the weather. The sun is out, it's shining, it's beautiful. It's really, really hot as well, about 28 degrees. And we've just decided, you know, we're just gonna have some lunch here at the hotel. Just enjoy that for a bit. The pool is amazing. The staff here are obviously amazing as well. And the menu looks really, really delicious. What are you thinking? I can't decide, there's so many things. There are a lot of there's options a lot. and they all look really there's delicious. Great pastas even. Wow. Absolute feast. You've got the Malady special salad. Yes. Chicken satay. And the salmon. Signature. That looks unreal. Thank you very much. Wow, mango sticky rice. Mm. This is unbelievable. This is gonna be Jenny's first ever mango sticky rice and I've explained to her that this is the best dessert on planet Earth and obviously one of the most authentic Thai desserts that the locals love, the tourists love and after this bite, Jenny's also gonna love. How does she need to eat it? So this one, for the coconut milk, okay. you put on the sticky rice yeah. and okay. mango. Yes. That's a mango. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's so good, isn't it? It's sticky, it's syrupy, mm. it's the rice that's amazing. It's like rice pudding, but yes, better. It's rice but pudding, better. but better. Love that. And we are deciding now for the rest of the afternoon to just chill by the pool. We did actually get a really, really sunny spell, but we have unfortunately just been presented with a huge stormy black cloud in front of the sun. But it is beautiful to just chill at this pool. Jenny's sunbathing, trying to uh, catch up with my collar. <laughs> Give her a month, she still wouldn't be there. Yeah, this is just lovely to just chill here. It's nice after having, you know, such a couple busy, hectic days in Bangkok, in the city, to just come to a place like Chiang Mai and relax in, you know, a beautiful hotel like this. Now it is Saturday, but I think we're just taking it easy on the alcohol. So we ordered two mocktails, lychee, orange, what, what else? Um, mm. Nothing I can pronounce, but we're being well behaved. Yeah, we are behaving, for the next few hours at least, anyway. I mean, it is Saturday, so we might, um, might not last long. amp it up a little bit when it gets to around seven, mm. or maybe six. So in 20 minutes, finish this, <laughs> straight on the bed. Where are we going this evening? To the market. Wearing our elephant, elephant pants. We are matching, but it is a Saturday. So that means the Wua Lai Road Saturday night market is open from 8, oh, from like 5 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. So it's not on for long because it is 8 p.m. right now. So we need to head out. This hotel is so nice at night time and the pool 
is open until late, so you can go for a little swim. We've got a lovely bar here as well. So yeah, they've got it all. But so nice. that's not for us tonight because we're going to the market. So come on. Look at that, it is so picturesque at night. I love the lighting. And how we get in there, you might ask. Grab, of course. Four minutes away, 95 bar to the Walleye Saturday night market. Not bad. Pronunciation was bad though. Don't judge me. That's all I've got. That's all I've got for you today, kids. That's all I've got. <laughs> but the outfit though. Nasty. <laughs> grabs here, grabs here, grabs here. Wow, I'm being a right gent getting that door for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Let me get the door for you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, you're learning, there we you're go. Learning. Ooh. Ooh. Excited? Yeah. And so this is the Wale Saturday night market. Apologies for the pronunciation. It is terrible, but this is the place to be on a Saturday night. It is very busy. There's lots going on, lots of trinkets to buy that you can stick where on your in dashboard your, yeah in your car on your car that do absolutely nothing whatsoever but people yeah. seem to love them out here they love putting them on the front of their car but you know we've just arrived you know there's lots going on lots of little bits of jewelry so let's have a look around and food every time i look around you're gone i'm just you're excited there. i'm excited I'm excited what are you excited to find what are you looking for i need to see all the trinkets all the trinkets, all the trinkets. Shall we show the people what we mean by trinkets that yes. belong on people's dashboards? Yeah, let me find Let's one. Let's have a look. I think there's one over there. This is the kind of thing that you see on oh, everybody's dashboard. Oh my god, these are those, those squidgy things. Do you ever get them on there's holiday? Key, you yeah. break them and there's a flower You stretch them and they pop. Yeah, and you the flowers so just goes everywhere and you've yeah. got them and you mumble so you can start a man. They were such but a thing. They go bonkers. Why did we love them so much? Because they're fun and they serve absolutely no purpose. Yeah, they Except do nothing. To squeeze them. All over this market, you're gonna find so many food stalls selling street food, but I can't lie, I don't particularly think it looks at all appetizing. What do you reckon? It just doesn't. It looks, you agree as well? Where's the fridge? Why is it not refrigerated? She agrees. I feel like a lot of other people would as well. We're all in agreement. To be honest though, the only people I actually see buying the food there are Thai people, like locals, because I feel like their bowels have learned to, to handle it. Nice silver bangles that you can get here, which is uh, pretty cool from these markets. I actually got one last time I was in Thailand and I lost it in a club. What do we reckon? Nice? No? Yeah, you know? You're not sure? You're not sure. You're not sold. On the silver? Yeah. Do you think I suit gold better? Yeah. How much? We're going to get a prize check. Here we go. 2,200 baht. That's a little bit expensive. That's like 45 pounds, I think. 1,000 baht is 20 pounds. This is 45 pounds. At school, did you not do arts and crafts? Yeah, that's, that's like this. what this is. That's the Thai version. If you want arts and crafts, this is where to get your this antiques, your homemade stuff. But to be honest, the thing that I really love about this market is all the locals, the Thai people, they seem to be doing their own crafts. They make their own glass, their own wool, their own clothes, their own headbands, and they <laughs> sell them on this market. So by paying for things here and by buying things here, you are supporting the locals. I really love that. That suits you, get it. No. No. <laughs> Baby, why are you staring at this like you're gonna get something? Well, this does not suit you. Maybe if you were seven. You're right, I am seven. This much silver. Yeah, because you can see how much work is actually going into it. Yeah. This is you. Hey. Oh wow, for making all this. Yeah, it's talent. It is actual yeah. talent. Like, I'm really impressed with like this that stuff. Boat. That boat is unbelievable. Yeah. That boat over there. What are these like things that you're seeing on uh, Oh Tuesday? my god, I'm seeing them We're so seeing soon. We're seeing them in Chiang Mai. We're seeing these things right here. That's exciting. Yeah. Nelly and Ellie. Nelly and Ellie. Let's go with that. That's cool. Yeah. Go on, stick it on. No, I can't stick it on my feet. You can. Try before you buy. 
I think it might be a bit big. How do you make it smaller? I think she can make it smaller for you. Ah, I can pull it. It is big. It is big. But you get the gist. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Like a tourist. <laughs> oh, the epitome of a tourist. You're wearing elephant pants. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. We're both wearing elephant pants. <laughs> Such a tourist. How much would you have to get paid to eat one of these? Oh, all the money in the universe. Okay. One million pounds. No. Five hundred thousand pounds. No, that's less. <laughs> So just as a bit of a travel tip, no Thai people actually eat insects. It is entirely there for the tourists, for show and tell. Show and tell. For the, for the Brits to be like, oh, shall we act like Thais and eat some insects? Doesn't happen. People yeah. don't actually eat them, but you do see them on all of the markets. I'm not going to be eating them anytime soon. She might if she gets paid 500k. I don't even eat fish, so it's a no, no, I, it's I don't a no think for me. I don't think that's going to happen. This is my domain. This is your um, my section. happy place. This is where I reside over this side of the This is where you thrive, and I know nothing. Okay, so I think we might have just found something that Jenny's gonna get, <laughs> that she's gonna eat at this market. I never thought I'd be saying that, but we can get these smoothie pots with fresh fruit in them. I don't know if they're fresh, but we're gonna find out if she spends all night in the toilet. Which one are you getting? Um, mango and passion fruit. Okay, nice, sweet. So it doesn't have holes in it, so it's not made in a factory. So that means it's made in the we'll tap. Be on the toilet. So it's tap water made into ice. So unfortunately, you can't have a smoothie from here. That's a shame. I think strawberry with white chocolate chips. Strawberry with white chocolate chips yeah. sounds amazing. That is yeah. the, uh, the ultimate combo. This is so cute how you actually just put your order in for your ice cream roll. And you come and pick it up in 20 minutes. Pretty. I think so. Aren't they? Yeah, very nice. You can literally get anything at this market. <laughs> anything that you had as a kid. Oh, I can see the shivers. Yeah. You can definitely get lots of jewelry here, like bracelets, silver, real silver as well. But one thing I am definitely noticing is jewelry out here is a lot more expensive than it used to be. You're looking at rings, bangles, they're like 40 English pounds, which is really expensive considering we're in Thailand. And you can buy rings if they're just metal or stainless steel for like 20p, 50p. I was thinking maybe like, like 10 pounds, pounds max yeah, and yeah. considering i have bought rings here and bangles in the past for like a quid two quid <laughs> we're in thailand 40 pounds i'm not paying 40 50 quid so the thing is like a lot of people do say that when they come to thailand they come to india they come to places at the other side of the world they do tend to get ill and the reason for that is yeah. it's the street food that you're eating you don't want to run the risk of getting ill when you are away and on holiday and ruin and potentially ruin your trip just stay away from the street vendors because you will notice that a lot of the chicken a lot of the fish it's not stored in a fridge it is just left out so if you don't want to end up ill you eat back at the hotel or you eat in a you know notable restaurant which is exactly what we're gonna do I'm just noticing there's so much food at this market like you walk from one food market to the next food market so if you are hungry you can definitely find something for you here um, it's just I don't want to run the risk and that's me when I vlog. My hand is just everywhere. Usually and it's my just, face. And it's normally in her here. face. It's gonna fly into her face one, one of these days. She's gonna end up with a black eye. So cool. 89 bar for that. You cannot go wrong. Ice cream in a roll. Wow. Thank you so much. Have a First impressions, let's go. Is that good? Do you like it? You're happy? Mm. Is that a good result? Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Um, 10 out of 10? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a winner. Mm. So I have actually seen these all over the UK, but the fun fact is that it did actually come from Asia. So a lot of people in the UK that you do see selling these now for about 10 10 pounds, 5, 10 pounds in the UK, they actually came from Asia. So you can get them here, these ice cream rolls. Let me have a little taste as well. Mmm. Mm. That's actually so good. Mm. It's so good, isn't it? Mm. That's unreal. Brain freeze. <laughs> so good. 
strawberry with crushed strawberries, frozen strawberries, <laughs> and strawberry <laughs> sauce. Oh, the Unreal. So this trip has really started to catch up with me now. So we are going to head back to the hotel because I'm knackered and I just don't have the energy for this anymore. And it is like 10 o'clock and this market does start to finish at around 10.30. So we're going to grab a grab, head back to the hotel and grab some food on the Grab app. Where is he? Um, oh, he's calling you. He's calling you. Yeah. Two very sleepy people. This trip has really caught up with us, this jet lag. And that is why so we just weren't able to power through. We just had to call it a night at that. Couldn't commit to the trinkets. But we are gonna order some food on the Grab app because unfortunately the restaurant at the hotel has closed. It's a shame, but let's see how good Grab is. Grab my bag. Yeah. I'm stuck. Got it? Oh. We are literally falling out of the car. Is there everything out of the car? Oh. No. <laughs> My phone. Your phone, you lost your phone. Oh my lord. There's something wrong Dang. with me in this phone. That's how you know it's time to call it an alright. You literally <laughs> lost your phone. I just left it there on the seat. And I've smashed it already this trip. Oh, no. And, we're and now I've just Three nearly given in. it away. Oh. <laughs> I, need to, I need to go to sleep. So, really annoyingly, I actually just formatted my memory card. <laughs> so, I've actually just lost all the data of us receiving the grab food, eating all the grab food, and now entering into a food coma. Mm. It was delicious, wasn't it? It was really tasty. It was really good, but unfortunately I can't show you guys that. So I'm going to have to wrap this video up here. I'm really annoyed, but thankfully I've not lost all the footage from today. <laughs> Just the footage of us eating. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I can't even speak. I I'm can't so speak. I'm so tired. <laughs> Please like the video. Please subscribe. I need your support. <laughs> we Let's all need your bed. support. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.